Well, for the very first time, the world's most famous international restaurant rating guide awarded its Michelin stars to restaurants in Florida. Miami took center stage as the city collected 11 stars, receiving the most in the state. Our Inside South Florida correspondent and premier foodie Miriam Tapia caught up with three chefs behind the newly awarded restaurants to talk about the historic night and what this means for the future of the culinary scene in Miami. Take a look. When a chef, sommelier, or a restaurant receive a Michelin star, they are awarded for their quality ingredients, masterful techniques, and most importantly, their cuisine. Finally, the guide awarded 15 Michelin stars to Florida restaurants. Four one-star restaurants were awarded to Orlando, 10 to Miami, and the only two-star restaurant in the state is also here in the 305. Miami native and now Michelin star chef Michael Beltran was the first chef to be awarded the star that night and had one word to describe the moment. Emotional. And, you know, I didn't really notice how long it took me to get on stage because there was like a sitting area and I didn't sit there. I was like in the farther back and I didn't necessarily hear them call our name, but everyone around me was kind of going nuts. So I was like, I guess they called our name <laughs> and um, it's it was really an amazing, amazing experience. You are homegrown, right? You have your Cuban culture integrated into this new American cuisine. For you, what does it mean now to have your style and your cooking style, your cuisine have a Michelin star? Well, I mean, obviously there's been a lot of like perspective thought over the last few days too, which was, you know, one of which I had an opportunity to leave to cook elsewhere years ago. And um, I didn't, and I didn't because I wanted to do all these like dreams and stuff that I had here in my own city. And not only that, I wanted to highlight how special I think the city really is because, you know, the products, the, the produce, the people, the culture, I mean, everything about it is incredibly special. And I just think it took, you know, a really hardworking group of people to showcase that for the world. And I think that's what we did. Host of Fast Foodies and former top chef, Jeremy Ford can now add a Michelin star to his long list of accolades. Tell me, now that you received this star, right, how does it feel now knowing that you're one out of 11 of restaurants here in Miami that got a star? How does it feel? It's an incredible feeling. I mean, think about how many amazing restaurants are throughout the city. I mean, hundreds. And, and, and it didn't really even hit me until the following day when I was like driving home, I'm like, we got picked out of like, Miami's culinary scene is amazing. Mm -hmm. it, it's at its highest level it's ever been. And for us to get like, you know, get the star, like, wow. You got this award alongside other peers who are great chefs here in Miami. How does it feel? Did you like talk to one of the chefs and you were like, I can't believe we did this, man. Yeah, you know, you know, um, it's funny, there was one, there was one guy um, that, that we had like some beef with, right? That was for years and years uh, and we finally squashed it. And I'm so glad because this, this ceremony brought us together. We squash our old stuff and it's just like things like that need to continue happening. Right, People, the culinary in Miami, the, the chefs need to become, we need to become more unified. You know, we need to share with each other. We need to help each other. We need to, you know, just be there for each other a lot more. And I think that this, uh, this brought us closer together. Upscale Korean Steakhouse Coat Miami received a one star and chef David Shim thanks the city and fellow chefs for all their support. I mean, speaking about Miami, everybody was shouting 305, 305, you know, for me coming from a 212 uh, area code, it was, you know, of course there was the love, but love amongst the culinary scene in Miami was huge. And for me, an outsider in a way, or out of towner, I was very like, you know, every time I come to Miami, the level of hospitality and the open arm um, environment here is so amazing that they kind of felt, you know, they pulled me in. I, I was part of the crew and we we're just all screaming, let's drink some more champagne 305 all the way. Tell me, what does this mean now to Miami and the culinary scene here? I think the entire country is is watching us now, right? Uh, because this award is so, so important to chefs, restaurateurs, anybody involved in this industry is, is this is the biggest, this is the Grammys. I, I feel like we continuously need to carry the sense of excellence. I think that's what Michelin is all about. It's like having the sense of excellence, the quality. And, you know, as I think a little deeper after the ceremony was over, the burden on my shoulder as the forefathers of Miami, the frontier uh, 
you know, creating the path for more amazing restaurant tours and restaurant chefs to come come about. You know, we just need to make a great example for ourselves, and so that this can continue, so that the the prestige, the you know, I guess for chef, this is the highest one of the highest awards that you can receive, and it shouldn't be thought of as like, oh yeah, I got the star. You know, that's about it. No, it's like you have the star. Now, how are we going to keep the legacy going of City of Miami, of State of Florida, so that we can, you know, have better, other great restaurants come to town, other great restaurant tours to come to town, chefs to open more, so that the destination of Miami is not just what we have now, but something that we can grow into a further and so, something that's going to have such a force in the culinary scene here in the U.S. The job's not done. You know, like we still have.、Um, Other things to reach for, we have other goals, and you know, retain or gain is pretty much everything we've been saying to each other since the day that this happens. Obviously, we enjoyed it, but we know that you know the, we just have to work harder now, and I think the whole city is going to be doing the same thing. I love the term that you use, Miami against the world. I saw it all around social media that night. That's a term you use, and I'm going to keep saying it, Miami against the world. If you're interested in going to any of the One Star or Bib Gourmand restaurants, check out the list at guide.michelin.com/us. I'm Miriam Tapia, Inside South Florida.